Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means, well, thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the FAIR Act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So word on the street, y'all. The judge that was handling Young Thug's case in YSL trial, um, he just been kicked off the case, y'all. Word on the street. He just got the boot. Um, they are saying that Fulton County Superior Court Judge Uriel Glanville has been removed from Young Thug YSL case in Fulton County. Fulton County Judge Rachel Cruz issued her ruling on the motion submitted by attorneys for Young Thug and DeMonte Kendrick and attorney Kayla Bumpus on July 15th. And I'm gonna just tell y'all this. This made me think about what Young Thug said when he said that he can't get a, you know, he is not going to be punished for nothing because he's a mason. <laughs> Y'all remember he said that, right? That he can't get in no trouble. He's a mason. And I'm wondering now, you know, are they pulling some strings so this demon can get let back out on the street? He is one of the biggest people that's pushing agendas for our youth right now. Um, He's making it cool to be a thug, thizzle, and wear a dress. Okay, y'all? And we, 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 we didn't have enough of that already. I'm just going to put that out there, y'all. We tired of these guys walking around trying to act hard. And at the same time, we're fingernail polish and lipstick at the same time, too. We're sick of it. We're disgusted by it. But I wouldn't be surprised if they let him back out. Okay? He is somebody that pushes an agenda. For guys to wear dresses, for to men to be feminine, okay, y'all? He's pushing an agenda. Not only is he pushing an agenda for that, but he is also, he is also, okay, y'all, um, pushing the street association life, okay, y'all? So, <laughs> like I just did in another video, he pushes this agenda and people that pushes this agenda they go lightly on them when they go to court for stuff that they are out here doing so is this the first step in him getting out possibility y'all if they can go and get a judge removed that was in charge of all the judges <laughs> y'all lord have mercy it's about to go down they are it is looking like this guy is going to be freed okay they said in her ruling, Cruz stated that while the court has no doubt that Judge Glanville can and will continue presiding fairly over this matter, if the uh, recusal motions were denied, the ne necessity of preserving the public's confidence in the judicial system weighs in favor of excusing Judge Glanville from further handling of the case. Cruz granted both Kendrick and Williams' motion to recuse Judge Glanville. However, she denied Bumpus motion to squash the show. Cut, you know, cause the order and rescue Judge Glanville because of it is moot. Okay, y'all. Um, defense attorney, particularly Young Thug's lawyer, Brian Steele, have been filing motions for months for a mistrial. Of course he is. His kids, his people, his family, whatever, they're not affected by this demon being on the street. Um, Just people in the hood. Okay, y'all? He's claiming that Judge Glanville was biased against him and their clients. However, it was an ex parte meeting on June 10th between Judge Glanville, prosecutors from the Fulton County District Attorney's Office, and state witness Kenneth Copeland that led to multiple requests for a recall. This probably was a setup from the start, y'all. This was probably a setup from the start. They knew that they were going to be able to get him kicked off that case by this, this little meeting to take place. I'm, I, I'm just going to say that. Because they are working hard, y'all, to get this guy back out on these streets. They really are. And like I said, if the things that he were doing were against other colors, white to be exact, they wouldn't be so pressing so hard to get him back out here on these streets. I'm just saying, y'all. 
everybody that has committed any kind of demises, all of that stuff and connections with stuff like that. And they are getting, they're going in and getting right back out. The ones that stand in there, the ones that don't have really harsh charges. And it is what it is. And we have to just look at stuff the way we are looking at it. It's, it's, that's the only thing I can say. The initial recusal request went to Glanville, who denied them. Kendrick then tried to bypass Judge Glanville by appealing to the Georgia Supreme Court. They declined to consider it, but ordered another judge to review the motions. Judge Cruz was assigned to the case. She, pro <laughs> I ain't going to say it, y'all. I ain't, ain't trying to get no more trouble. Okay, y'all? Judge Cruz was assigned to the case, still also attempted to have Judge Cruz re removed based on the fact that Judge Glanville donated to her re-election okay re-election campaign a free months ago and because they are both judges in fulton county but she denied the motion okay y'all at this time it is unknown who will take over the case or when the trial will resume okay so they don't even know when it's supposed to resume boy oh boy oh boy they get in their way y'all they are getting their way now, I don't know, did he do something wrong or not? I don't know, did the judge do anything wrong or not? But I'm going to say this. Um, to me, only thing that keeps coming to my mind is what he said. And what he said was, you know, he's a Mason, and Masons don't get in no trouble. They are going to clear him. And it's weird because I was watching this movie the other day. I, I, and This is an older movie, but I think it's called... Is it called Elite? It's, is it called Elites or something like that? Wait a minute. Let me see what's the name of this movie, y'all. It is a movie, y'all. Wait a minute. I think it's called Elites. Because they, they did a, um, let me see, is this the right one? Ooh, give me one second, y'all. Because they made a part two and three, but the part two and three is not, I heard, is not good as the first one. But it's about secret society stuff. It's called Elite, yeah, I think, is this it? I'm trying to get the right one because there's a couple of them, y'all. I'm waiting. Wait a minute. I think it's elites. There's a couple stars in there. There's a lot of little stars in there that I like. I'm trying to remember the name of that movie, y'all. Give me one second. It got to do with the secret society stuff, y'all. This is what it has to do with this college. I think that's the name of it. Elites or it's either Secret Society, something like that. Um Let me see, can I pull it up? I think it's elite. I'm not sure. I if I look it up and find it, y'all. But I think it's elite. But it's about these college students. And um, they having like a little problem when, you know, they having problems like everybody else trying to pay their tuition and this and that and that and this. And then they join this pretty much cult. Okay, y'all. And this cult that they join is, um, you know, cover ups. If they, you know, have any kind of little accident, little oopses, they will go and cover it up by even taking somebody out and, and cover up the crimes and all kind of stuff. This is what this movie was about. And um, this, this it's weird that I just watched this like a day or two ago, and then I come back to this and I'm just thinking about what he said about he's a mason, so he can get away with everything. But anyway, yeah, as long as they did what they did, they cover up each other's stuff and this and that and that and this. They were given like an allowance. Um, they threw parties for them, and it made me think about the Diddy parties when I watched this movie too, because it made me think about the um. Let me text. Wait a minute, y'all. I gotta text my baby. Let me text my baby. I found the name of this movie. Cause somebody told me about this movie in my comment section, 
And that's when I, um, you know, pulled it up to watch it. Give me one second. I'm trying to get y'all the name of this because I want y'all to go watch this movie. They were throwing parties for them and everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. And when they threw the parties, they had women there, you know, that come out and they could get one, two women, however many that they wanted. They could have. It just reminded me of Diddy parties. And these guys were given allowances because, you know, they had to make sure, watch each other back. They had, it was like a brotherhood. And they signed two brothers together so that the brothers would, um, look after each other okay that they were you know bonded for life and they had to look out for each other no matter what if they called for to help them in anything and a lot of these guys they were connected to politicians doctors lawyers all kind of stuff okay this is what this movie was about and they had to look out for each other and if you you know didn't do what they wanted you to, to do or whatever 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 um they got rid of you they got rid of you and I watched this movie and I was like, Lord, this is what is going on. They making movies about what's really is happening right now, y'all. That's crazy. Um, let me see. I can't even find the, the name. Oh, it's called The Skulls. That's the name of it, y'all. The Skulls. And it's a part of one, two, and three. But I heard that two and three wasn't that good because um one was the good one and they said two and three it was different actors and this and that and this so it was it kind of just lost its you know value but go watch the skulls it's going to tell you about these secret societies and what they're about and covering each other up and this is what um young thug said he said he was a part of this so he wasn't really worried about you know, staying in prison or getting in trouble for the stuff that he was doing. This is why a lot of these guys are so bold about doing the things that they're doing because they figure they got people to back them up. Okay, y'all? But go check that movie out. The Skulls. That's the name of it. Okay? And um, it will tell you everything you need to know about what's going on right now, y'all. In the industry and everything else. Um, let me look at the year to make sure y'all pull up the right one. It is... Um, it's from 2000. Okay, the skulls. And it says the year 2000. Okay, y'all. So go check it out. It was a pretty good movie. It was pretty good. But it don't. they always don't end like that. Um, they always usually, I ain't going to tell y'all to end it. But yeah, just go check it out. And it will show you what is going on out here. Now let me see where you can go find this movie at. Because... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, y'all know how to go pull them up and find where to watch them at. I don't know where to find it at. I think I bought it or something. I think I had to pay for it. And it's not telling me where to go. They have it on YouTube. They're saying it's on YouTube, too, for $3.59. So, I don't know. You can go check it out on there. Um, maybe Prime. I think Prime. Oh, okay. It says on Google Play, it's on Amazon Prime, it's on Apple TV, and Fend Fandango. Okay, y'all? So, yeah, go check it out. Um, It remind me of Puffy them. It remind me of Young Thug them. All of this mess that's going on, y'all. Okay? But anyway, yeah, y'all, the judge have been kicked off of the case. Okay? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.